said the best part of today's ride was <laughs> having my bike carried. <laughs> Wearing bright contrasty colors so cars could see me in the fog. Knowing there's some cycle booty in the bathroom on the vanity. That is not the best look. All right, good evening. Jesper and I are here to talk about, <laughs> well, it's Florida and we call this winter riding because it dropped down to 61 degrees. I think the lowest that we have rode was probably around 43. Bill says the rule should be your age minus 10 and that's as low as you should go. I think that's a pretty nice rule. I wore an ear cover today. I was really glad I did. And on my glasses, helmet, I actually wore arm skins and I have these in black, but I chose the white ones because we were riding close to dusk. Got my Vander Kitten jersey on, Vander Kitten shorts. Hi, Jasper. And oh, good kitty. And oh, some pink camelback bottles. And then my really cute, let's see if we can show them, really cute Vander Kitten socks. And I can't believe how well these Shimano's fit. It's like they were made for me. That thing there is not an accident. That's my road ID that's sitting there on my shoe. And I've got a light on my front fork and headlamp here. Got the Garmin there. Did have the Dazer right here, but then some dogs ran out. So it's in my back pocket now. Got a cool bike bag. I have a, not only a rear light, but also a rear fork light. I can leave all that stuff linked below in case you're thinking about doing some riding in the dark that definitely makes a difference. We're pretty sure that our lights are what kept one of the cars from pulling out in front of us. I must be really sweaty and Jasper really likes it because he won't leave me alone. All right, here it is. Yeah! Here's the big kitty. Hi, big kitty. If it gets any colder, so that was 61. That's what it wore for 61. I also have a base layer on, just a thin um, sleeveless. If it gets down to 50, then I need to put on the warmers that go over my knees. They kind of cover from your from your ankle up to your thighs. You put them on before you put <laughs> your shorts on or long pants. And I only have one pair of really long pants because it is Florida and generally I'm not bicycling two days in a row in really super cold weather. Same with the arms. You put the arm sleeves on or you put the jersey on. Well, first put your foundation garment on which I have a new one that I love. I will share that link below too because it is the best exercise garment that I've ever had. And so once you put your foundation garment on, then goes your heart rate monitor, then your base layer, then your arms, then your jersey. So if you don't get them in that order, they all come untucked and you have these gaps and cold air goes rushing in, so that's not so great. So that is cycling in Florida in the winter. Look, I don't even have gloves with fingers on. I have a pair of gloves with fingers, but I reserve those for kind of like 55 and below. Tell me how you layer, what's your best layering, and do you keep a little note where you write down what you wore at different temperatures so that you, if you get up in the morning, you know, 4 a.m. ready for that ride, you don't have to think about it. You can just look at the temperature and then figure out what to wear. I kind of do that because I, I kind of know myself and that I am I am generally a little bit chilly, but then I really warm up. So I didn't think this would end up around my ears, but it did. It was colder than I thought. So let me know what you wear. What are your favorite things? What's your favorite way to layer when it gets really cold? I would love to hear. I'm always looking for tips and tricks and willing to share some with you. So I'll leave links to everything I mentioned below. Here comes Kiki. It's, it's like the cat house here, right? And uh, yeah, I did shave 15 pounds off my bike. Can you tell my face is skinnier? Yeah, the weight actually came off of me. I'm using Noom and it's a total game changer. Can't believe it's just like a perfect mesh with my lifestyle. It's not just the food, it's the analysis, it's the turning your nose, it's the, the habits and the mindfulness. And I haven't been hungry yet. Been eating pretty much what I want within reason. Uh, if, if you need to shave a couple pounds off your bike, I could not recommend it more. I'm, I'm, I'm just, the first day as I started reading their philosophy and how they do it, I just thought, I'm home. This is this was made for me. <laughs> anyway, time to go get a shower, wash my gear, and uh, get ready for the next day. Okay, I promise you, this is the most comfortable foundation garment ever. I'll have to look and see who it's made by Bur Burleigh, and it is just wonderful. And I have a question. If anybody has any information on how to get the white stains, well, that's an aggravating light, how to get the white stains off of cycling kits, 
I want to know because, oh my goodness, I think it's just whatever's in deodorant seems to leave yellow marks on my white gear and I would love to know. It's kind of like grayish marks that end up on there. I see the color change there, but I just would like to know, how do you, how do you deal with those marks? How do you get those off of there? So thanks for watching and give me all your tips. Tell me what your tips are. I'd love to hear them.